welcome back to another recipe video. Today we're making a cauliflower pizza crust and vegan mozzarella. I've made a cauliflower crust before, once or twice, and I haven't quite perfected the recipe, so I hope it turns out good today. But let's just get straight into it and start cooking. So you may have noticed I've got a new addition to my family. This is the Vitamix Limited Edition Professional Series 750. I'm so excited to use it properly, because like I've used it twice so far and it's seriously like amazing. To start off, I'm going to blend the oats into a flour. I'm just going to blend one cup. That should be enough. I'm so excited to use this. Maybe I need more. I'm just going to blend two cups because you can never have too much. Pop the lid on. This is really exciting. I'm very excited. You just go to one. So it comes out like a really nice flour texture. Set the oat flour aside into a separate bowl. Next we're going to blend up the cauliflower. Just cut off the florets as they're called. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Going to add in half the cauliflower to the blender. I'm just gonna pulse that until it's fine. Put that into a bowl and then blend the other half. Add in the other half. Next you're going to get one of these, it's a nut milk bag um, or you can use like a fine sieve or a cloth. People use cloths but I mean I wouldn't use a cloth to do it because that's just weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can get these from like health food stores, um, bulk food stores and everything and you can use it for like almond milks and stuff so I'm going to use it for this to get the water out. And twist it and get all the water out. So I'm measuring out the cauliflower, it's two, three, so it's three and a half cups of cauliflower, one cup of oat flour, one flax egg, half a lemon juice, teaspoon oregano, teaspoon mixed herbs, pepper, and chili flakes and one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Combine that together. And then use your hands to combine it. I'm just gonna add in another half cup of oat flour. Yeah, it should start to be all sticky. So I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up a bit and I'm going to make the mozzarella cheese now. Add in one cup of cashews. Those are raw. Just a bit under one cup of water. Lemon juice. Tablespoon nutritional yeast. One clove of garlic. And two tablespoons of the tapioca. Which I might do two and a half. Look at that. Next, form the base. It'll be a lot easier if you wet your hands so it doesn't stick. And pop that in the oven. Pour in the mozzarella. And keep stirring, otherwise it's going to burn. So once it comes together like this, just set it aside and then wait till your pizzas are ready to put on. Remove the crust from the oven. So this is just tomato paste mixed with some garlic and herbs. So 
some capsicum, onion, mushrooms, tomatoes. So you want to just wet your hands to grab a piece of it, otherwise it'll stick. And then just plop it on. Sprinkle on some nutritional yeast and pop that back in the oven. So the pizza is ready and it looks amazing, smells amazing. Let's hope it tastes good. I'm hungry. So get into this. I hope the crust is not gonna like break apart to be honest. It like stayed together. Oh my gosh. I have been craving pizza for the past month. I've been waiting to do this recipe video for when I have pizza and this is like it's just oh my god, I kind of It's so crunchy on the outside too. This is the best thing I've eaten in so long. Even though I said that about everything. The mozzarella is really nice, like it's just perfect. My fifth piece. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to keep in the loop with my new videos. And also, if you recreate this recipe, take a photo on Instagram and tag me and I'll post it on my Instagram story. Hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.